Okay, so episode eight. I can't believe we're getting down to the end of this season. I've pretty much recorded most of the episodes the past two days and then watched this one and then the last two tomorrow and that's it. I mean, until, fingers crossed, hopefully we get a third season, but yeah. Um, anyway, so in the last episode, we found out that Gil is a, a special kind of asshole. Um, so we already knew he was an asshole, but, um, we found out that he, on top of already being a terrible guy, he, um, abused Georgia. Um, so there's that. Um, Gil is trying to, I don't even know what his objective is, but he's just an asshole and I don't know what he's trying to do, but, um, he's going to be an issue. Um, and then they had... George's bachelorette party. Joe and Cynthia are still kind of like lovey-dovey a little bit. Although Joe, I th he's just in love with Georgia. And I don't really see him and Cynthia end up being a long-term thing. Especially after Cynthia like talked to Gil for that like weird amount of time and stuff. Yeah. Um... What else happened? Jenny and Georgia went to therapy together. Um, and I feel like that's all the big things that pretty much happened. But um, anyway, if you want to check out this episode or any of the others completely unedited or get early access for the next ones, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. When I'm not in it, I don't remember it. Remember and Marcus is going through some shit right now. Remember the darkness, but it's different to feel it again. It's the difference between remembering what a room looks like and actually walking through the door. You never really know what's going on inside someone else's head. Everyone's fighting a battle you can't see. I do think he's a. I I think he's a good guy. I just. And I think he's a good guy for Jenny. I just don't know if they should be together, like, right now. Shit, what time is it? It's all safe. Hey, can you take table 10's order? I'm all backed up and they've been waiting. Where's Jenny? I don't hire you guys so that I have to be the one to take the orders. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who's at table 10, Georgia? Oh, Cynthia. I'll take table 10. Uh -huh. I'm take the orders. I get you started with some drinks. Yes, Joe, we will take a mimosa carafe. We need it. Any specials today? What what is the look that she's giving yeah, him? I can make you anything you want. Cynthia, do you know what you want? You know, I'm not really hungry. Mm, I'll take the peach pancakes. Yum. Is that like guilt or something? I don't know why she what she's like looking at him like Morning. that for. Oh. You're here. Hey, Paul. Good to see you, brother. Everything okay? Don't call me yeah. brother. Everything's great. What? You like it? I found it at a thrift store. I thought it was kind of ugly cute. Oh, you got the ugly part right. Hey, oh, damn. Oh, yeah. damn. Speaking of ugly, Sophie just bought her tickets for Wellington. So now she's going to see me as an evil, ugly witch who no one wants to marry. Yay. Well, except for... Oh, it's probably... S Silver's probably going to make her look hot. Because, well, you know... I don't know. I mean, she did... Her outfit was, like, oh. looking good or whatever. Hey, Marcus. Hey, Silver. Oh, so now Silver is coming over. Cool corset. Yeah. Thanks. And so now they're actually. both wearing. Well, I kind of figured. And she is freaking yeah. brilliant. Oh, that's really sweet. The corset thing was because of. What are you guys up to? Silver. But. Why? Max, I love your outfit. Uh huh. <laughs> that's why she got it. Guys, I swear to God, I do not know what his problem is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Zach, True. Austin, Austin's mom is here. Hey, Zach. Oh, Hi, except for it's not hey, Georgia. I'll go get your stuff, okay? I uh, told Georgia that I'd pick him up. Did you get my voicemail about that place on Abbott Street? Yes, yes, uh, it is perfect. Georgia, you know Georgia so did not tell him to pick him up. It's nice for Austin to have a close client. 
Well, I dated some not so kind men, as you know, in college. But my dad was an ass. God, it's like I'll, you want to love her, but you also want to hate her. <laughs> I love Joe. He's so cute, man. I'm all closed out, Joe. <clears throat> good, good. Yeah, well, let me walk you to your car. Yeah. As well as very crime watch. It's like jaywalking. I'm good. Good night. <laughs> no, man, she left a long time ago. Are you drunk? No. Mark Look. Mark Mark oh. Okay, there. Drink. No, I'm good. Or I can call your mom. Mm -hmm. To get him a way to do things, I guess. I wonder who's going to figure out that he's suffering from depression. No, I, I was cool in high school. Uh huh. That sure. was pretty much like Fresh Prince. Who? Mm. <laughs> oh my okay, god. Some of you did not grow up with Nick at Night and its shows. How are we getting you home? So? I was your summer oh, trip to Georgia. Oh, we got a little flashback. I don't know. Hot? Okay, so do you want the answers for the history test or the chemistry test? What, what, what happened to your Ray-Bans? I lost them. <laughs> oh, freak. Hey. Hey. Oh, 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 what was that? Oh, was that a slap? Was it supposed yeah, to be, be a punch? Let me see you yeah, move, we, we agree on that. Oh, oh shit. I wasn't using. I liked you a lot. I don't have the answer you want. I'm sorry. He was using her as like a substance. Just like Jenny does with Marcus sometimes. I sometimes I think Jenny does sometimes use him as a substance, but I think Jenny does actually really care about Marcus too, so there's that. I'm, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'm bad at what? Like life or just relationships in general or? I'm drunk. Yeah, I figured. Max, hemp, in the drive shaft. <laughs> what? Right. Uh, Out you go. I'm Are they gonna end up hooking up? Cause uh, he's not a good guy. You just okay. Shirt off. Mm -hmm. Morgan. I hate you so much as a person. Genuinely and truly to your core. Do they? Do they like hook up on a regular? Probably. They probably do. Whatever. I guess if they want to be together, but. I would say, how does Jenny not see it? But Jenny's dealing with her own shit, too, so. Yeah. Hunter, you need to go on a date or something. There's he no does. one I like right now. What about Padma? <gasps> I see that. I like it. Okay, how about we stay out of my love life? Oh, okay. It'd be Come cute, on, let's though. go get Ginny Jin Jin to bring her to curriculum to English. Yes, she agreed to do the prenup, Dad, but this this isn't about money, okay? Look, I don't want to hear it. Dad, look, I need you to back off about Georgia, okay? I'm marrying her. I need you to take that seriously, okay? Yeah, no, don't, don't put mom on the phone. No, do not put mom. I'm surprised Hi, they didn't mom. make a bigger yeah. ordeal out of the prenup. Hi. I was, um, I was just telling dad that, uh, I would, I would really like it. Maybe it'll be a bigger thing Georgia later. About the wedding. Some other alternative revenue stream. The schools aren't getting any more money. Not without someone else taking a hit. Yeah, everyone's taking a hit. The economy is garbage and the world is on fire. Small businesses are struggling. Mm. There's just not enough money to go around. It's very helpful, Nick. I mean, he's just telling the truth. <laughs> I guess you had to go on all those fun trips before. <laughs> um, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. 
Something about Georgia? <laughs> when was the last time that you and Georgia, you know, mm -hmm. were together? Not long ago. Not that long ago. Mm -hmm. I love Jane. She's the only thing that makes me happy. Well, then don't lose her. That's the problem. I know it's easier said than done, but... No one person should be responsible for your happiness. That's not fair. Oh, that's true, too. You guys are cute. Thanks. Uh, my shift just ended, but happy anniversary. What's up? What, what was that? That was weird. What's going on with her? Bottoms up, you know? Twit. Did he put something in it? He probably put something in that milkshake. <laughs> she so does. Oh, this is such a good point. Aw, he has a wonderful point. That's great. Well, you're all right. We need more money for the schools. More than the current budget is allocating. I've got one kid at Bangler Elementary and another at Wellsbury High. I'm deeply, deeply invested in education. What is she trying but to do? I also work at the mayor's office and I have a front row seat to how tirelessly Mayor Randolph works putting the best interests of this town forward. And that is why we at the mayor's office are debuting Small Business Saturdays. Wellsbury's all local businesses. We don't have a mix oh, She needs to talk to Paul about parties. that shit before she just starts telling everybody. Cheap. Blue Farm Cafe. And a percentage of the profits from each week will go directly into the schools. I totally see so his, way, like, Paul's schools frustration. Schools are money into the town and vice versa. Listen, <laughs> I'm sorry that Jenny dropped AP English. She's very bright, always hands in thoughtful essays. He, they didn't know that she dropped. There's nothing I can do. She dropped your class. It's a shame. It was her decision. I did not know that. Did you know that? I did not, but good riddance. Mm. Oh, no. Something's up. Look, you know you can talk to him, right? If something's wrong. Something's up with Austin, probably. You know I can take care of myself, Zion. Yeah, but she also has tears in her eyes. So you know she's, like, freaking out. Yeah. Well, hey there, G. How did the school board meeting go? I couldn't make it because, well, I didn't want to go. <laughs> mm, Joe knows something's up. Shall we? Um, that's on me. Enjoy. Oh, my God. It's Georgia, isn't it? The one who sees I... you only as a friend? Mm-hmm. I figured she kind of knew that, though. No, no. No, no, it's, um, I think she needs help. You're nothing like her, Joe. You are a sweet guy. You don't have a malicious bone in your body. God, she'd eat you alive. I'll see you, Joe. She's got a point. She so does, but that doesn't change my mind about me wanting them together. Mm. Georgia. Hey, Cynthia. I was wondering if Austin wanted to come over for another play date. So. She totally knew what that was. Because she talked about dating not good guys earlier. So she totally, she, she sees it now. She's, I think she caught it right then. Hey, Joe, can I? Wellington. I do not care. Joe. Jenny. You're the one who seems off. Jenny, do you have a second? It's important. Hell nah. I'm working. It's about your mom's late husband. Oh, I fucking hate this guy. Careful mm. what you wish for. Your beauty is a fluke. You'd be lucky to be known as fire. Fire pants. 
Max is going to start, like, maybe dating or liking, like, really liking Silver, and then Sophie's going to try to come back in the picture. I can just fucking see it, and it's going to irritate the shit out of me. I mean, should he be there, though, with her husband being, like, right in the other room? And I know you have a lot going on. My husband is literally on hospice in the next room. Yeah, like that. That's what I said, yeah. Cool. <laughs> I, I, I'm a mess. I'm a disaster. You didn't hurt me, okay? We both got something that we needed and we both wished it was yep. with their people. Else, that's okay. Mm hmm. That's what I said. They were just using each other. Yeah, you have to go because George is going to be here in a minute. Lost him. Okay. Watch it try to be um, Gil again and then she's going to freak out and be like, no. Love is just a weapon, is a weapon. Beauty's an illusion, an illusion. Someday you'll be just like me, just like me. You think you know, but you don't know. You'll never know just how. I'm telling you, I just know Sophie's gonna try to come back in the picture. An illusion. Someday you'll be just like me. They did a really good job. That's awesome. Oh no, he was over there. Oh, okay. Uh oh. No, Austin, don't be up in there. What's her face is gonna be mad. Is that Georgia? What's she doing? For Cynthia, I feel like. And. Oh no. Damn it. Max will flip if you miss the end of her thing. You're missing the ending. Well, she has lower expectations for me. Mm. Whatever. Well, I don't she, what is she getting so frustrated? It's definitely is that because of that one guy, but. That I'm upset? What? That's what this is, right? You know did she figure it out, or did someone tell her something? It's, it's not you. It's it's me. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I he could have put it a little bit differently, because that's like... I don't like, believe that anymore. Because you said that's forever. Like, you said that, and now you're bailing? <laughs> what is with this goddamn hallway? I... <laughs> True. <laughs> I didn't even you think said, about it. I mean, I did, but I was like, you'd always eh, love me. you know. You didn't do anything. It's, it's me. I promise. You promise? You're making promises to me, Marcus? No. No. And you know what? I make promises. <laughs> because anyone who has ever made a promise to me has broken it because they're liars. You're going to regret this. Yep. He probably already You're does. You're going to realize that this isn't you. Fucking Sophie. No. Did you want to go out with me for like a coffee or something? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. I mean, you're why I did the play. What? Yeah. Well, duh. My teammates are <laughs> mad I did this instead of football. <laughs> this is so stupid and you probably don't remember, but we once went to an escape room together. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were incredible, Max. Do you want me to help you get out of this? May I kiss you? Mm. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, she got lipstick on her <laughs> chin. You were wonderful. Thanks. Hey, do you want to grab coffee sometime? Oh shit! I, I feel like I said, "What did I fucking say?" Unresolved stuff to talk about. Mm. What did I say? I fucking knew it. I don't have an enemy to be loved right now. God, that is so sad. Was that a gunshot? 
Oh no. It's not gonna end right here. Oh, come on. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Ah, uh, what the hell? What the hell? That's not good. I feel like, I feel like this next episode, it's going to be a perspective on, like, Georgia and, like, and their perspective, and, like, you know, on the other side of, like, this episode. I bet that's what this next episode is going to be because we saw some stuff, but we saw it from someone else's perspective. I know I keep saying perspective, but we keep, we saw it from other people and, like, where Jenny, or not Jenny, I'm sorry, Georgia was, like, a bystander, but, Je like, Georgia did a lot of things in that episode that we kind of saw, but we didn't, like, s like, s really see it. Oh, and then the gunshot. You know that shit is, like, really? Uh, oh, my gosh. And, like, we don't know who shot the gun. We don't know, like, if someone was hurt or, um, okay. Well, my original plan was not to record the next one until tomorrow, but I really want to record it now because I need to know what freaking happened and why she ended up killing Tom. She probably killed Tom for Cynthia, like, trying to, you know, trying to do the right thing or whatever. I feel like is why she did it, but. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. If you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.